there, guys. Back with a little more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. All right. And I went ahead and saved and uh, came back to the city here, to Domino City. All right. And uh, so now, let's just, uh, oh, let me make the map big and let's uh, look for a new opponent. Let's get into it. What we're going to find today, there's Mako Tsunami. We've already registered him. I think we got his deck recipe, too. Surely there's someone else out here, the big wire of new monsters. There we go. Let's duel you. Oh, it's a Shizu. Okay. Let's see what she has to say here, actually. You are the duelist I faced previously. My Millennium Necklace predicted I would run into you again. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Yeah. I would like to test your heart again. With my Millennium Necklace, will you duel me? Sure. So, I don't know if it's after this time the event will happen, but we need to duel her a couple more times. But apparently this is like our second time facing her. Let's go with our other deck, Terra Force. Call from below. Alright, let's do it, Ishizu. It's time to duel. Alright, let's see what we got. Final attack orders, first turn. Very good. Alright, so we'll start with the guy of power. And we got ultimate offer. Hand is stacked. And I actually kind of want her to attack into me. So I'm actually going to set Goblin Attack Force. Hope she doesn't have like Heavy Storm. And I'm going to set my other two cards. Alrighty, I end my turn. <laughs> and we have a 2800 point monster on the first turn. That's crazy. Alright, so she's going to discard Thunder Dragon to add up to two Thunder Dragons from her deck to her hand. It's pretty good. She likes to feel her graveyard for uh, Exchange of the Spirit. That's her big, you know, kind of thing here. Ajito, please attack. Oh, please attack. Please attack. Such just a dog. Dagla. Alright. So I will activate. Is this final attack orders? No. I will activate. Final attack orders. This makes all monsters shift to attack mode. And that includes my two goblin attack force. And I know your monsters in Earth, but guess what? I'm 300 points stronger. Ha! Looks like your monster is the one going down as she's new. Oh, whoops. I accidentally made the... Whoops. Camera fall. Hang on. <laughs> oops, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me see if that's... Is that back in position? Uh... Looks good to me. Back to the duel. Alright. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we'll soon end. Oh, that's asking if I want to use Ultimate Offering. Nah, that's fine. Alright. So now I'll activate Ultimate Offering. There we go. Alright, and if we draw a good enough monster, we could end it right now. Let's draw. Well, we can't attack with Toon Gemini Elf this turn. So that's unfortunate. But we'll set that as bait once again. Then we'll use Ultimate Offering here. Alright, pay 500. Now I summon Giffy, the Iron Knight, in attack mode. But that's not all, she's... I sure hope she doesn't have a Mirror Force. I summoned Spear Dragon, but I did set two Gemini Elf, just in case, so... Alright, I'll attack with all my monsters. Giffy, go! Oh, looks like it's clear, guys. 2300 damage. Now, if Goblin Attack Force gets through, I all know it's really clear. Let's go. Oh, 28. Ooh. Ooh, that is so good. Man, this deck is powerful. Man, if all we needed was 700, and we could have beat her in three turns. That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, Spirit Dragon's effective switch to defense, but final attack orders will just switch it right back. Awesome. Alright, and Toon Goblin Attack Force switches, but then same thing. Alright, I am my turn. Yeah, and that's basically this is basically one of the best hands my deck could have got. Other than Toon Gemini Elf this turn. Regular Gemini Elf would have been good reasoning. Wait, what do I even call with this? Um, I guess four. Uh yes. S-T-U-F-E Stufe What? Alright, so she gets to get rid of Ultimate Offering Gets to get rid of Pot of Greed That's good Rid of Upstar Goblin Rid of Cathedral of Nobles Rid of Toon Oh my goodness 
she might get enough cards for exchange of the spirit. Well, she gets to play that card. Master Darkness. Holy crap. She got rid of a lot of cards there. Tribute summoning. Oh, right, right. Oh, please attack it to my, uh, to Gemini. Oh, please. I think she'll lose. Does she lose? Final attack orders. And... Bye-bye. Oh, that couldn't have worked out any better. So we won in four turns, not three. Awesome. You win. Sweet. All right. Now, I don't know if the event will she with Ishiji will happen that's supposed to happen. I don't know if it'll happen now or not. Let's see. Let's see. I'll know depending on her dialogue here. I think you're the one I'm looking for, but I'm not completely certain. Okay, if you ever find her saying that, you need to duel her like one or two more times. You know what I mean? Before, long story short, you want to duel Ishizu as much as possible. I think you only have to do it three times to make the event happen. But it has been a while since I played through the story of the game, so I'm not sure. But basically, if she's saying this message, you need to duel her some more. So, yeah. Okie dokie, she's doing no problem. I will check your progress the next time we meet. Sounds good to me, Shizu. Alright, bye. Alright, well, there's Miko again. In the meantime, we'll just duel whoever we see. Alright. How you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, just finished recording the, uh, the episode right before this, a few minutes ago. Basically transferred everything to my computer. Made sure the audio was good, and, uh, yeah. Now we're here doing this. Is this my Valentine? Uh, let's find out who's stronger, you or me, Wheeler. Alright, let's do it, my... Terra Force. Uh, we do have to watch out. My it plays a lot better than some of the usual people around here, so... Yeah. Let's duel. Okay, we go first. That's good. Ooh, I could put a warrior into the graveyard and then use warrior returning alive. It's actually a pretty good combo. But all things said, I'm actually going to go with DD Assailant first turn. And uh, do I have Sinister Serpent? I probably have Sinister Serpent in this deck. Let's see if I do have Sinister Serpent. If I don't, I'll send a strong warrior that I want. Ooh, I could even send Command Knight. But uh, no, we'll send Sinister Serpent. That way we can start the uh, combo train going, so I end my turn with that. Okay, back to normal view. Let's see what Mai does, guys. Gemini Elf. Okay, please attack me. I actually want to get rid of your Gemini Elf right now. That's good for us. Alright, so we only take 200 damage, but we're rid of one of her most powerful monsters, so that's good. Bye-bye. Alright, that's why Dini Assailant is good. Alright, she's going to set a face down. And yeah, do watch out, because she does have, like, Mirror Wall and stuff, so, you know, there's that. Now, I don't think I'll play Gaia Power yet, um, until, um, I know that she can't benefit off of it. Alright, so we'll go with Spear Dragon, direct attack. No trap. All clear. Dun, 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 dun. And if nothing else, I can Morphing Jar my hand, because, um... What all's in our hand here? Um, yeah, the only thing I'd be a little um, sour about losing is Magician of Faith, but honestly, I don't mind losing that card either at this point. Uh, Harpy Lady, well, oh, uh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, anytime you see her with the Harpy Lady card, try to take that card out, because, oh my goodness, she's just going all in here. But, uh, yeah, that's exactly why, because Elegant Egotist can easily ruin your day. Especially if she has, like, two of them. It's very dangerous, so. Alright. Triangle Accessy Spark. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. We might want to do something real quick here. Alright, my. Maybe I will have to go for that Morphic Draw. Let's see what I draw. Ooh, Gemini Elf. Okay. Well, let's try to play our field card first. Maybe she has Mystic Space Life? No, okay. Alright. What I'm most afraid of here is if she has Mirror Wall, I'm just dead. But she didn't play a trap last time. And I'm hoping she doesn't play a trap card this time. Please don't have a trap. Okay, yeah, I know that has the effect, but okay, okay, good, good. 
whew, we're good. But the main thing is, like I said, I wanted to get rid of Harpy Lady because it counts as a name, you know, for her other cards. I know Gemini Elf can't attack for two turns, but I'm fine with that. Um, Alright, hopefully she doesn't draw any other combos. Uh, well, that's gonna knock out our field card. Not good. But at the same time, if she summons a Harpy Lady, she'll have to knock out one of her own cards. She didn't summon anything. Well, you know what? I'm actually kind of fine with this, because Gemini Elf couldn't attack for two turns anyway. Uh, the 250 does suck, but, you know. It's not... That, that turn could have been a lot worse, honestly. And she said it was true. Okay. Alright. Um, Morphing Drawer, I think it's time for you, buddy. Toon Gemini Elf is not gonna cut it here, so... Oh no, I forgot she has that. Oh, well played, my well played, well played. And that means we don't get our flip effect either. Um, well with that being said, Working Jar is in attack mode. I might as well just attack and see what happens here. Yeah, yeah, oh well, we got over it. It's Magician of Faith. Wow. Yeah, I didn't dang, that sucks. She's gonna get back me on that card, so. Stop me with the shadow of eyes, my. I did not see that coming. Like, legit. Well, yeah, she did, does love that card. Played it a lot in the anime, so watch out for that. Yep. Now, as long as it's the only monster she attacks with, yeah, I'm about to say, I think we're okay. But. My really has us on the ropes here. What am I gonna do? This thing has 2150. It's like just strong enough. And there's no face down, so I just need like a good trap card. Oh, allied forces. Mm. No, that's not gonna do it. Um, maybe this is a long shot. Maybe I can play Magician of Faith to get back Foolish Burial, and then um, we can. Ooh, that is not good. That is not good. Oh, there's Harpy Lady. So whatever I have face down is going out. Oh dang it, and I had Warrior Returning Alive set. Oh crap. Wow, this is not good. Alright, my, alright. She's got us. She's got us like almost pinned in here. Um, I am gonna take back Foolish Burial though here. There may be some other combo I'm not thinking of. And I could always draw another Warrior Returning Alive next turn. So there's a chance, man. Down to 200, holy crap. Yeah, mine might actually just straight out beat us here. Uh, there's gear free, which is good, but not good enough. Um, wow, let me just check my... Let me check what I can dump off of Foolish Burial. Um, maybe I'll just dump like Goblin Attack Force for now. I don't think there's like any other crazy combo I can do, but send two now one attack force. Okay, allied forces. Man, wow! Won't even let me do that, huh, am I? Wow, I think we just straight up lose then, because I was gonna do that, you know, summon Gearfried, and then wow, yeah, yeah, I think we just straight up lose, guys. Wow. Well, hey. That happens. That can happen. Mine's pretty good. So, yeah, I guess we'll just end the turn because I was going to use Allied Forces to get over Harpy Lady 1, which is actually probably one of her better Harpy Ladies. And she got another monster anyway, so I think we would have lost either way there, but man, sorry about that, guys. We actually lost. Wow. Well, <laughs> I guess, like, we got all of our luck in that Ishizu duel, because we finished Ishizu in, like, four turns, but my, she took us out pretty quick. But, huh, that took longer than I thought, but I went I went. Now get out of here, loser. Ouch, my, that hurts. It hurts my pride. All right, who we got here? Oh, Seto Kai, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised to meet you in a place like this, Flood. <laughs> Did I'm interested for a second. This is your lucky day. I'll let you duel me here and now. Alright, let's do it, Kaiba. XYZ versus Terra Force. Alright, then I'll go back 
Sky's uh, regular view here. And am I going to go first, Kaiba? No, you're going to go first. Okay. All right, let's wish me better luck in this duel, guys, I guess. Wow. Man. Yep, my played pretty good there. The Shadow of Eyes was really, like, clutch. I think that's in four face downs. Jeez, Kaiba. Okay. All right, I draw. Swords is good, just in case. But we have you here. Um, I guess I'll keep Foolish Burial until I have Warrior returning alive. Let's start with good old reinforcements of the army. I think I'll take Command Knight. That's what I usually take out of here. There. And first turn, he's got all those traps. I'm actually going to defend first turn. And we'll go from there. Alright, I end my turn. Go ahead, Kaiba. Let's see what you've got. Now, I probably should be more aggressive, you know, because he's got the XYZ pieces. But, you know, with four traps, it's like, yeah, yeah, I figured he had down White Dragon Head, but, you know, it's like, yeah, you probably don't want to be that aggressive if he's got that many trap cards, you know? So. Alright, I'll try attacking with Command Knight next turn. We'll move a little cautiously since Kaiba's got four trap cards here. Alright, because Command Knight can take out White Dragon Head, so. Try. Come on, Knight, go, attack. Yeah, shrink, yeah, yeah. I figured it'd be something like that. Alright. Not too bad you take out my command right there, Kaiba. Kaiba boy. Okay, so, main phase two. We have not summoned yet this turn. Let's go with. Let's go with. Toon Goblin Attack Force. It can't attack the turn and summon anyway. That's kind of why I waited. Um, let's see if Kaiba can somehow get past this. He does have two tributes, so... Uh, if he does play Blue Eyes, I will gladly play Smashing Ground and get rid of it. One tribute. Is it Cyber Tech Alligator? It is. Alright, well played, Kaiba. Well played. Alright. We're on the defensive again. But we won't be for too long. We've got swords, so... Waste like a good monster here, so. And Lajian. Alright. Let's see here. I bet you Kaiba has like a mirror force or something down there, too, with all that. Uh, Smashing Ground. Yeah. Then we'll play Swords. Okay. And I think we'll just set Sandgan here. Maybe I'll get, like, a tribute monster or something. All right, I end my turn, Kaiba. Your turn. Let's see what you've got. Ah, except Canada. That's just a little too strong for my DD assailant. Yeah, that's okay. Draw. Two Gemini. That's what I like to see. Okay. We'll play that. He probably, he might have a ring of destruction or, like, another shrink down, but I'm still willing to try to attack. Just because, you know, you want to make him waste whatever those traps are, so... change the position. Okay, but you can't attack. That was kind of a waste, so that's good. We got him to waste that on his turn when we weren't even attacking. But that's a good, like, enemy controller can be used very good defensively, so honestly, we won that. Um, what I'll do here, I'll actually try to crash. Basically, I'm going to try to bait out the, uh, the shrink card. I'll attack with Gear Freed first. Okay, attack XF Cannon. Oh, no Shrimp card. Okay. And he didn't play Ring of Destruction either. But yeah, you definitely, um, in this, if Kaiba's using his XYZ deck, uh, much like with mine, basically you want to take out his combination pieces. So if you can, take out X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, and Z Metal Tank. You know, anytime you see him, attack, take him out. So, and we get to discard a card from his hand, so this is good. And what was that last card in your hand, Kaiba Boy? It was... It was... Ryukishin Power, right? No. It was... Yeah, I guess it was Ryukishin Power. Let's see. Last card in this graveyard was... Yeah, yeah. That was the last card in this game. Okay. And we have Swords for one more turn, so we'll end the turn. Alright, Kaiba. Let's see what you got. 
another defense monster. I'm just gonna leave, let you in an attack. I can respect that. It does have higher attack and you don't have a hand anyway, so. Speaking of having a hand, Robin Goblin can eliminate cards from his hand. Swords is gone now. DD Assailant. Alright. Let's take out Lejin first, you know. Take out what we know we can take out. So let's see. Attack Lejin with two Gemini Helm. Alright. I don't know what those other two face downs are from Kaiba, but they're not doing anything. So maybe he has like a defense trap like called the Haunted. And he's just waiting till we attack directly. Wicked Worm Beast. Oh. I'm actually surprised we got rid of this card. <laughs> like, usually Kaiba will summon this card and it'll just keep returning to his hand. It's kind of funny, but. Alright, no cards in your hand now, Kaiba. What are you gonna do? Ah, face down, huh? Okay. Alright, well. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling a little aggressive here. Let's switch Sang into attack mode. Now that nothing else is out. Sangan attack. Mm, no mirror force. Good, good. Alright, we're in a good spot here. Alright, DD Assailant. Stealth attack from a different dimension. Alright. Toon Gemini Elf. Toon double attack. <laughs> For whatever reason, somehow we're doing better against Kaiba than we did against Mai. I, I find that hard to believe, you know. I almost don't want to play Morphing Jar, because if he somehow, you know, gets aggressive and attacks it, it would basically be help doing Kaiba like a big favor, because he has no cards in his hand, so, you know. Another face down, okay. Alright, Kaiba. Well, you're down to 2800. Tell you what, just in case there's a mirror force, I'll switch this to defense because we only need to do 2800, right? Okay. Alright, Kaiba. Alright. Let's attack with two Gemini health. Okay, looks like we're good, guys. Looks like we're good. Looks like we won this, so. Alright, and there's no way I could have done exactly zero, so. Yep. Alright. Sangan. Direct attack. Scratch claw. All right, and it looks like we win, so there we go. All right, duel it against Kaiba, done. And I, I doubt he'll register us anytime soon. He usually takes quite a few duels, so. All right, 115, 102 experience, that's really good. All right, Kaiba, <laughs> this victory is entrusted to you for now. <laughs> All right, and I think we might have time for one, let me check my phone. Yeah, maybe one more duel, and then we'll call it at the end of this recording session. So, let's go up here. Oh, Yami Yugi. Okay. So, Ishizu, Kaiba, Mai, and Yami Yugi. That's fine, but I don't intend to lose. Union Force. All right, let's do it, Yami Yugi. Let's do it, buddy. All right, looks like we'll be going first here. All right. Time to duel. Pretty good hand, pretty good hand. Alright, so in two table of contents, I think I'll search... I mean, Yugi does have pretty high defense monsters, but I think I'll search Toon Gemini Hell first turn. Normally I'd grab a Toon Goblin Attack Force, but we do have Metal Morph in this hand, so I'm not too, too afraid, you know, of Yugi's like 2,000 defense point monsters. Uh, but yeah. Set two cards in the turn. Your turn, Yugi. Let's see what you got. I'm the king of games, and I'll show you why. I play three cards. Four cards, face down. Alright, just like with Kaiba, we're gonna be a little cautious here. Gaia power, I will try. Does he have MST? Let's see. Nope. Okay. Alright, so there's that. So I don't even need to use Metal Morph now, but I'm not going to summon, because Yugi does love using Mirror Force, so... Yeah, we're just going to attack first and be a little cautious here. So, two Goblin, two uh, Gemini Elf attack. Ah, there it is, there it is, okay. Mirror Force is out of the way. That's good. Alright, main phase two. 
let's just summon, and this is Best Tornado Metamorph, right? Let's summon, let's go with Cyberger here. Hey, in my turn, Yugi. Let's see what you can do about that. Yeah, and Yugi does have some Earth monsters. I guess all the Magnet Warriors are Earth, so be a little careful with the guy in power strategy, you know. Just in case, but what's good, we're gonna take out two of his Magnet Warriors right here, so. Alright. And with Cyber Jar, I'll kind of max the view. That way I can kind of see what's going on here. Alright, so he's got Dark Factory, so he can get those magnets back. Breaker. It's good that we special summon, because that means he won't get his effect for the counter. Oh, Rebel Sphere. So he has Brain Control and Call of the Haunted. Okay. Alright, let's hope we get like a bunch of monsters here.
which is weird, because that's not even a card um, DB had in the anime. That was actually uh, uh, Joey's card, and uh, Yugi took it with them by using exchange, so... Oh, did we get rid of brain control? Boy, I hope so. Let's, let's check his graveyard. Let's check. Brain control? Yes! Okay, we're, we're doing good here. We're doing good. Now, if he did play an Earth Monster, it's actually weakened by Gaia Power with the defense. Yeah! Oh! It was the obnoxious kill. Oh, no! Okay, so... Pretty good combo here for Yugi. Um, final attack orders made him be in attack mode, and he's got 1900. So in order to keep my um, Command Knight alive, I need to play Metamorph here on Command Knight. Wow, good combo for you, Yugi. Because that card can't be destroyed by battle with monsters with 1900 or more. So we're going to have a hard time getting rid of his obnoxious Celtic Guardian, but... At the same time, it's just like a magnet for our attacks, so that's also good. So, regardless, we can do damage to him with that, no matter what. Um, what time are we at here? Okay, let's keep going. And, uh, may I summon Command Knight this turn, right? Alright. Your turn, you. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my phone, because we are getting about to... And, uh, sorry if my phone cuts off. Snatch you really? Oh, jeez. Um... Well, we do have Dust Tornado and Mirror Force, so... Alright. Oh, I thought he was going to two-tribute there for Dark Magician, but... I think what we'll do is we'll just take the life points, and we'll take away his Snatch Kill here. Alright. So there we go. Because he, he has no cards in his hand, so... Yeah, let's take our monster back, now that we got the free life points. Alright. Bye-bye, Snatch Kill. No. Okay, so let's actually play Graceful Charity here. One, two, three. Discard two. No, I don't think we'll need swords at this point. Um, Robin Goblin either. Um, so we'll go with the Warriors in my graveyard. Gear free? Yeah, yeah, Gear free. Okay, we'll just go with um, Nidia Salence. 